Good morning. It is Saturday. It's 7.45. I'm headed out to get some coffee. And then, oh, I can't, sorry, camera's doing a little weirdness. And we're painting today. I know, right? I'm excited and nervous. So much to paint. But I have a lot of the stuff prepped. I didn't do my hair today because duh, I'm painting. And I'm wearing my Dollar Tree painting t-shirt. I'm excited. So my niece and my brother are coming at some point and my cousin and her daughter. So there'll be five of us. I think we'll get it all done in a couple hours if I had to guess. I went through and dusted the high parts. Um, I have an upstairs hallway and I don't know if I've mentioned it, but there's like 18 foot ceilings. It's vaulted. Which is why mainly I need help because I, I'm not going to climb up on a ladder with paint stuff by myself. So, plus there's a lot to do. But I did go around and I have patched all the holes. Like little pinholes and where I, I had things hanging on the wall, not like big holes. And I took off a whole bunch of the outlet covers because I'm going to replace them with I think a light gray. And I moved as much as I could. The kitchen is kind of still a mess. I need to pull everything off the counters in there. But I've kind of, basically I've run out of room to do all of this moving stuff. So because my condo is not that big, I need to paint a room, put the furniture back. And then I can move the stuff from the kitchen to the dining room table. But right now the dining room table is covered with a tarp and then I have all the paint supplies, all my paint brushes, paint rollers and everything. So we don't have to hunt things down. So everything is ready to go. As soon as anybody comes, I can hand them a paint product and they can go to town. And I got a spigot for my five gallons and I will show you. Oh, I really have a mess of hair today. But right now we are headed to Starbucks because I need to start my day off right. Right? Right. All right, let's go. Okay, before I go home and paint, I went to the post office. I got something in the mail. I don't know who it's from. Maybe there'll be a note on the inside. It's not. Maybe. Whoever sent it, thank you so very much. We got one. We're gonna have fun with this, guys. Look at the pumpkins and all the holiday. I'm excited. And I think there's one more on its way so we can do some fun crafts. I'm super excited. Thank you so much, whoever sent it. And then we got an, ooh, another package from Sue. I know this was coming. And I love that you put the uh, washi on there. That's pretty cool. Let's open it up, and I think I know what's in here. <gasps> yes! Oh, I have a lovely note. I'll read that later, because that's for me. She sent me some ribbon. We've got the truck. I still haven't been able to find any of this. <gasps> Oh my goodness, the kitty cat washi. That is exciting. And two of the ribbons from the Dollar Tree. Oh, thank you so much. We're going to make some bows. Oh, I'm excited and I'll read my note when I get home. Well, thank you both very much. I appreciate it. You guys make me feel so loved and appreciated and I appreciate you. Okay, let's go home and paint. Hi guys, it's Monday, and I was a terrible vlogger this weekend. Sorry. However, we got all the painting done on Saturday and Sunday. Well, Saturday my whole family came and helped me, and by my whole family, I mean my cousin and my niece. My brother was there, but he didn't help very much. So, we got it all painted, and then yesterday it was touching up and getting the spots that may have gotten missed, and some cleaning and somehow we ended up getting little splotches of paint all over my floors 
my thighs are killing me right now from climbing. I did the edging at the top and bottom, so climbing up and squatting down. Woo. So today is a rest day, and I am rewarding myself with some Dunkin' iced coffee. Um, I'll do Dunkin' Starbucks. I just like coffee, but I, my favorite is Dunkin' Ice. I love their coffee. So that's my reward today for doing all of the painting this weekend. Now, my house is not back together. I will show you a little tour of the mess. It's not back together yet. Um, cause yesterday I was touching up and baseboards and stuff. And so I have the furniture pushed back, but it's not against the wall or close to the walls. And I still need to paint my mantle, which I have the paint for that. I just, again, I'm taking a little breather probably this weekend or one after one evening I'll start painting that. It won't take very long, but, um, I did put the... I set the TV on the mantle and I've contacted my handyman. He's going to come over and take a look and see what part I need, what mount to go with the TV that I have to get it mounted up on the, um, on my fireplace. So I'm super excited about that. And then I'm at lunch right now. I'm headed back to work. Then I'll paint the mantle, get the TV hung, and then I'm waiting on ordering furniture. But I've decided, so now I'm kind of glad I, well, I'm very glad I painted the walls first because the color furniture I was going to get would be too light with the walls. So I was gonna get a light gray furniture, but if we're all being truthful and honest, I have two black cats. No, and I love them. So I'm gonna get dark gray furniture, I think. Yeah. So I'll do that, but that's down the road. We're just going slow with this. The painting was the big thing. I'll clean up my floor and then I'm gonna reevaluate wall decor. Some stuff will go back up, some will wait because I don't know how I'm gonna set up my furniture. So it'll be a little sparse living for now. I'm okay with that. Um I also have a ton of books that I need to make some decisions on what I'm keeping, what I'm going to donate or take to like half price books or something. Some of them I just am not going to reread. Some of them I, I keep because this one, there's one, um, author and series of this author that I have every single book from paperback and then when they switched over to hardback I have them all so I'm thinking since I am eliminating the TV stand in my living room that I'm gonna get a bookshelf for in there and put my books on that bring them up out of the basement and then the rest I just need to purge and you know I have a lot of books but I don't read all the books I've already done that to my cookbooks but I also cleaned off some shelving that's in my kitchen and so I'm taking the, um, I put the cookbooks in a box, the ones I'm keeping. I'm not getting rid of them, but I also, I took the bookshelf out of the kitchen. Or the, they're actually crates. So we'll see. But yeah, that's what I did. So I went and got myself some iced coffee because that's my reward. Today after work, I need to go to the grocery store. Um, because I don't have any food. I know. I mean, I have food, but I don't really have food that I want to eat. Everything needs cooked, I guess I should say. I don't have any convenience food, and I don't feel like cooking. I'm just sore. My shoulders are sore, too. I'm just a little sore today in the next couple days, so I'll eat some, get some cheeses and meats and stuff tonight. Pork rinds just relax and then get on it so I will show you where we're at now in the aftermath it's halfway through the process but if anybody's ever painted you know your house gets to become a disaster zone it was nice how I, sorry my nose is itching the nicest part 
was that I got to kind of do some deep cleaning. I had to pull the stove out. So before we painted behind the stove, I went around and did a quick vacuum and wiped up any spills that happened between the stove and the counter. So that was good. I got behind the refrigerator, did the same thing. And when I pulled out all the furniture, I edged everything with the vacuum and really did a good deep clean of behind the furniture. So that was good. And then I slapped a fresh coat of paint. All right, guys, when we get home, I have to work. But on my, this afternoon, I'll take you on a little tour. All right, guys, here's my grocery haul this week. It's Monday and I'm just finishing up. It was a rough weekend. Um, this was $47. Um, I got this microfiber cleaning premium duo bristle pad. It's supposed to be like a green pad. We'll see. It was $3.99 for two. I'm hoping it helps get the paint off my floor. I got some uncured smoke polish kibasi. I think that was $3.89. I got two pounds of ground beef. I've been going to start stocking up on some ground beef and stuff. I'm just not convinced we're not going to have another repeat of the COVID. Um, some breakfast sausage. Some, another pack of Nathan's. I'll probably throw those in the freezer as well. Um, I don't feel like Ollie always sells them, but it's a good price, so I'll just toss them in the freezer. Two dozen eggs, you know, because eggs. Sour cream. I got this to try. It's tzatziki, which I usually like, so I'm hoping this is good. It's spinach parmesan. Two carbs for two tablespoons. That's not bad. Parmesan. Um, extra sharp and Swiss. They were out of my pepper jack. Which is fine, we're on a short week, and I'm going to my cousin's for dinner tomorrow, so I don't have to worry too much. Uh, two coffee creamers, some of my sweetener. Oh, I got some coffee, and this is um, an 18 cup of creme brulee. It was on Markdown for $5.79. I don't really know how much the regular price was, but it's fair trade, and it's K-Cups. I don't always use K-Cups, but I do like to have them on hand when I'm in a hurry or lazy and some pork rinds so that was pretty much it for the week i don't really have a lot of plans this week other than i think i'll go buy a fresh cabbage and use one of the ground beefs and make some egg roll in a bowl for later in the week but that's everything all right guys here's my kitchen i'm making some coffee with the light gray walls and as you can see the cabinets are going to need to be painted again I'm going to go a darker color since I did the walls so light, but this is where we're at. And then the floor from afar doesn't look too terribly bad, but up close, you see all this white? It's paint and it's literally all over my wood floor, but my thighs hurt so bad right now. We are not going to try to clean it up till probably tomorrow. So this is the wall in my dining room. I still have products out. Um, yeah, my house is a disaster zone, but this is real life, guys. I'm in the process of cleaning off the cart, boxing stuff up, getting ready to film a Dollar Tree haul. Mr. Alex is visiting. Yeah, this is my disaster, but my most favorite thing in here I love this wall. Hopefully we'll get new furniture soon. Is I've moved my TV. Let me go this way. I've moved my TV. It's going to get mounted on the wall above my fireplace. And I have to paint the ceiling still. But And then the mantle needs to be painted as well. So that's everything. I hope you enjoyed and you have a good one. I will talk to you all later. Bye.